That's yeah, we gotta sh we gotta show them this this sick. Just look at this. I can't even describe this with words. You're gonna like this. Oh, dude, Rudy's here. Yeah. Where's Mari? Mari is right under. What? <laughs> I'll put her up for you. You stayed up for it, so I'll put my. Yeah, yeah. There, there you go. You there go. you go. That's my girl. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so uh, Suoko's gonna go by for a little bit. Okay, uh, now. What? Did you just say talk? Yeah, I said, can you try talking? You can talk. What's up, everybody? Hope you're all enjoying JRTA3. Let we would know. enjoy it more if, uh, Crab, can you actually turn up Andy's volume? Yeah, sure. I was going to ask if you needed me to turn him up. Yeah, he's seemed, quiet. Seemed a little quiet for me. All right, should be louder now. Try again. Am I loud now? I hope I'm loud. Turn him like all the way up. All the way? Okay. <laughs> I had him at like 160%, so. Alright, he should Hell be. Yeah. In. Okay, try again, Andy. Yo, 200%, Andy. No other way to have it. I can turn my microphone up too, if that's, <laughs> if that's, that's what you want. Needed. You might need to at this point. Okay. Yeah, he's all he's all the way up for me, and I don't want to turn Discord too far up because you and Crippe are pretty pretty audible. Okay, my my mixer is maxed now. All right, you should be. That sounds much better. Yeah, is you it... should be pretty loud. Does it hurt your sounds ears good. at all, Crab? Are you good? No, this should be good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you okay. should be should be all set. All sounds good to me. I think we're probably ready to go if you're ready to go. All right, sure. Sweet. Uh, wait. Hang on. Mirror trap. There we go. Okay. I think new game. Use the last file here. Easy, because it's the fastest. Not going to pick Reva, even though she's faster. Um, she has a dash attack. Um, it's really good. Uh, there's a lot of good time attacks of it, but full game run is pretty punishing. Manual. All right, I'm ready to go uh, whenever. Go ahead and count me down. All right, five, four, three, two, one, go. Zizu Olympia. So this is the Legend of Dark Witch, also known as Majin Shoujo, Chronicle 2D action. And basically, uh, this is a game that's structured a lot like a Mega Man style game. Um, except you'll notice a big difference is we have this little uh, Gradius style upgrade bar at the bottom. And as I'm killing enemies here, um, I will be able to redeem these little butterflies, which are like experience, um, which I get, and be able to upgrade my speed, upgrade my line shots, upgrade my power, things like that. So it's a pretty fast and interesting game. You'll notice that I just collected a little blue crystal there. Um, in each stage, there are two hidden uh, Sega Crystals. And collecting those allow us to further upgrade um, our stats here. So, in the first stage... Sorry, that was a trick. Um, in the first stage, I got a Speed Crystal, which allows me to upgrade speed to another level beyond the base level. Um, and that's a really nice uh, game design, is that you start your cursor on the character with a Speed Crystal in there. There's only one other speed crystal that I can collect, and conveniently, it's going to be the girl uh, who is weak to this boss's weapon. So, pretty obviously intended design there to get us to go fast. So, Cleansy's stage is pretty straightforward. You just move forward, and you yeah, shoot stuff. The, the, main, the main thing you want to do is you always want to make sure that you have... Uh, maximum power before going to the boss door because you have to take a hit right before the boss door coming up right here and every time you take a hit you lose a little bit of meter
All right, so here's Clinzy. She's gonna tell us to get out of the library real quick here. Says be quiet in the library, but Zizu's not a very nice person, so she's not. She's just gonna attack her instead. We're gonna go inside Clinzy a little bit here and get right up on her. Funnily, like yeah. the bosses don't have hitboxes, unlike a lot yeah, of Yeah, you can just you can stand inside them without ever taking damage unless the attack reaches into their body. So, what we're gonna be able to do is uh. Uh, bleh. Sorry. <laughs> what we're gonna be able to do is we can redeem the experience we gained, uh, gained in stages uh, and for little upgrades there. So what I just did there is I upgraded the Dia Missile, which is the weapon we got from Clinzy. And that allows us to two-shot a boss that it's weak to, which Blad here, my favorite, is actually weak to the Dia Missile. Dia Missile, Dia Missile. Um, also, Cypher, interesting you mentioned Patchouli. Um, the Legend of Dark Witch actually is a series, started off as a Tuhu fan game. It was Toho Gindansho X Unlimited Heroes. Uh, Nana worked on developing this pretty much entire game system and developed it as a Tuhu fan game. And then eventually uh, he was able to create his own game that was released on 3DS, Steam, and PS Vita. And now it's a series with uh, two main series games and a third called Brave Dungeon, uh, which is actually coming out in Japan this month, and there's going to be a third Dark Witch game. So, Clinzy Librarian, Patchouli Librarian, same same thing. <laughs> so we're gonna come right up on the end of Blad stage here. You'll notice I picked up a second Speed Crystal, and Blad is. Look at her, dude. She's so moy. So, never give up your dreams of making games. You can make whatever you want to make. Oops. So what Boss Crab just did right there is he went back to the shop to upgrade his Tress, which is the little butterflies that flies out when you defeat an enemy. So upgrading Tress makes it so you build up your Gradius meter faster, you gain more money to buy more upgrades. So that allows us to, you know, get more upgrades, get upgrades faster. Uh, yeah. So I can you know, get speed as fast as possible, get line shot as fast as possible, which is pretty necessary. Uh, especially in this little stage, there's a lot of there's a lot of crap here that needs to go away. Yeah, especially the red snakes. When they when you hit them one time, they split into s several small ones. So it's really important to have a maximum line upgrade for those. So one thing to mention as this. Uh, stage kind of lags a little bit here. Um, PC version, if we were doing real-time attacks, whoops, would be the version that you would want to play on, um, because it's by far the fastest for real-time. Unfortunately, as you can see, I have my OBS window up, and it's making the game lag a little bit. This game can be very susceptible to your computer quality, to what programs you have open, things like that. Um, and also, this game has a very... <gasps> okay, whew! Has a very involved, oh. <laughs> has a very involved Japanese community, and they all play on 3DS. So to compare, we use we actually use time attacks on 3DS. And oh, all right, so I'm gonna do a glitch here. Uh, it's Oops. called the weapon switch glitch, and uh, oh, you actually he failed. I missed it. Time. I always mess that up, dude. In marathons, it's so bad. But yeah, but, the, the way it works is uh, whatever projectile you have on the screen. You can change the attack power of it by switching to uh, to a boss weapon. So since since we upgraded our first boss weapon, the Dia missile, to level level one, when we when we run up to Sola and use the bound ring, which is her weakness, we before the bound ring hits her, we switch over to Dia missile, and it'll it'll take the the power level of, of that and apply to the bound ring. So we're gonna do that for the entire run. So as long as you just level of one boss weapon, you can apply that attack power to all other boss weapons. Alright. 
there's some uh, there's some funny uh, sips on this stage as well. So if you wanna if you play the game casually and you wanna do the zip, it's the hardest zip in the world. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. You hold jump button and you're in. You can pick up the game right now and do it. It's crazy how easy it is. And this is probably the hardest stage to optimize in the game, in my opinion, because the, yeah. the the cycles of the spears on this stage is something. Yeah, the spear cycles, I we believe, go on a global timer. It's pretty uh, obvious that they do that. Um, and if you mess up anything, they're just off. And if you like take damage, they're off. All right, so here's Papelme. Yeah, and same strategy here. When uh, when the circle crown projectile is flying on the screen, uh, just switch over to Dia Missile. Papelme face. I'll leave that on there. So I don't need to upgrade anything anymore, so I can just go straight into Stoge. And Stoge is very convenient because you get three speed right at the beginning. Is yeah. this a pen? This is definitely the easiest stage in uh, in the regular speedrun, but um, there, there's been like... Uh, Time attack challenges hosted by Nana, where you you do uh, in, an individual level uh, competition for who can get the fastest possible time. And when we did this stage for the competition, it got super intense because if you uh, if you're playing with New Game Plus bonuses, you can increase your maximum speed by an additional two levels. And then there's a very hard skip that you can do uh, over by the wooden bridges. You can actually jump over one of them or jump jump under so you can get onto a platform which is really far away. It's like pixel perfect jump. And then there's another hard trick which is called backstepping. Um, not gonna talk too much about it, but it <laughs> I think I did I think I did close to three hundred resets just to get I think I got third place. Yeah, backstepping is something you can play with kind of new game plus mechanics and a bunch of additions, which we don't typically do and time attack challenges sometimes have them. Um, Backstepping, basically, you do like a reverse Hadouken, and you move slightly forward, and it's the fastest movement in the game. Saves two frames. <laughs> yeah. yeah, even Oxlus played it. So, what were some of the, the Japanese community members? You've got Maganito, you've got Rumia, Got a couple others that I can't really remember because I'm trying to focus. DKTL, Komagoma, and uh, uh, Miyamata, I think. And do you want to challenge oh, Meg? Oh, wait, uh, Maru Marumaya. 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 That's what I meant to say. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to challenge the gods of Dark Witch, uh, you are in for a very painful experience. Some of those guys are extremely, extremely good at this game. Oh, and here's here's the best enemy in this game, Papa Snowman. The Papa Snowman yeah. is, uh, is Papa a Papa Snowman is, is, yeah, definitely a crowd favorite. Just look at those muscles on the red speedos. He was appropriately dressed there for the situation, I think. I mean, oh, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's made of snow. He's pretty good. Breathes fire, too. <laughs> so if you... There's a couple of extras in this game, including like a monster manual. If you get it, the person who designed the monster's manual says uh, they they very heavily studied actual bodybuilding poses in order to get uh, an accurate representation of the Papa Snowman. It's very nice. Nice right. to see right. that uh, Caleb Hart gets his own representation. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot the hair color though. <laughs> and just enjoy the music for a second here, that's a really good track. Alright, and 
uh, Big Al here is weak to the upper tornado. Al is going to star in her own game soon. Yeah, she's the main character for the spin-off game, Brave Dungeon, which is going to be a dungeon crawling RPG. Practice gonna skip for later. Okay, so that is the six mean girls done. We're gonna upgrade our D missile to level three as we go into what you would, I guess, call a wily stage here for Very. This yep. is the longest and most difficult stage in the game, probably. It has a really difficult jump at the start, and Boss Crab is gonna play it safe, but. It is possible to get over the, the jump with a spike without having to stop, but it's really, really risky. If you hold down the, the jump button for a couple of frames too long, you go down the pit, and that's going to cost you, I think it's like 20 seconds. It's, which it's is, pretty bad, it, yeah. It, it completely kills your run if you try to do a time attack. Yeah, this uh, this level is, has killed many oh. runs. We oh, made you got it, the dude. Skip. dude nice. You gave me the hot tip right before the game started. Yeah, just hug the wall. Just hug the wall. Can we get a, yeah. a sub two? I don't think so, dude. Maybe. Well, it depends on the spear cycle. Uh, actually, the spear cycle doesn't matter because you'll get sub two. Oh, we'll see. Most most important thing is uh, tornado skip. And not getting hit by the archer. Ah, uh, I got both of them. It's unfortunate. Subdued Vary has always been out of my reach. Can I plug a new incentive right now? Go ahead. So, I decided to open up a new incentive in the style of best Final Fantasy, but I thought that wasn't appropriate for JRTA. So, we have a new incentive going from now until the end of the uh, marathon. For best anime. All right. So get your oh, donations baby. in. And uh, I know there are a lot of people in chat asking if there was a none of the above option because they don't like anime. So you can just put your money towards Sword Art Online in that case. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here's Very. She's really loud. So just be ready for that. She likes to scream. I don't know why she she's like really mad. She's like epic mad about something. But she dies really quickly, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, just just mash the missile and just turn the entire boss fight into Toho. The Diaframs missile? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and final now stage. on the final so stage. So Boss Crab needs to concentrate right now. So I'm going to talk about how the boss rush is everything in the speedrun. It really is. Um, <laughs> it really, really is. You can save so much time. Um, just like in the classic Mega Man games, if you, when you defeat the boss and you stand on uh, on the portal, you can completely skip the animation of the boss exploding. The problem here is that the portal is floating in the air and has a really small hitbox, <sighs> so your timing has to be very precise. You see right there, she has her head in the portal and still didn't go through, so we have to watch the, uh, the animation of the boss exploding. Ah, uh, dude, it's too high pressure. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Yo, got four left to go. This should be good. All right, so storage, thankfully. Yeah, got that one. So you saw right there, as um, as the projectile hit Stoge, he just completely vanished from the portal without having to uh, to see the explosion. Oh, got another one. Nice. I got the penalty. That's the hardest one. All right, now I'm happy. Uh, I got three yeah, of them. Yeah, you're <laughs> doing so good right now. Clinzy's, Clinzy's, whatever. Oh, we did it, dude! Amazing. Uh, so River, River's easy. So boss weapon switching glitch actually does apply to your liner shot too. So I'm gonna shoot liner shot and switch to my Dia missile halfway through. And the reason why you do that is because uh, you have to hit her one time less. Yes. And saves you saves you one hit. So Riva has no weaknesses, but level three D missile does the most raw damage compared to what we have in that game. We needed to use all our meter for boss weaknesses. And upgrading oh, our uh, D missile to three. They, uh, say goodbye to the stream quality right now because this boss fight is really funny. It's uh 
it's an auto scroller. There's a roof, and so the boundary gets a little crazy. So this oh, is God. so this basically um, this is just a timeout spell card. This is very Toho inspired, and she'll. Where did, where did the game go? <laughs> she'll spawn these little enemies all over the place. Um, in in higher difficulties, this can actually be a problem. These are very difficult. Unfortunately, this room has a roof on it, so bound ring, it doesn't go anywhere. You just put a bunch of bound rings on the screen and they stay there. Yeah, the, the bound ring keeps on bouncing until it hits something. And you can, like, you can spawn how many you want. You can fill the entire screen with these rings. So they're really, there is really nothing, nothing to talk about. River, <laughs> River really wants to time us out, but nothing she can do. She I just have a donation, to... if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, go, go ahead. For it. Go for it. There's nothing else to say. We got five dollars from Jackifer. It says, <laughs> "Kill all anime, kill all waifus, kill all nerds, smoke meth, praise hail Satan, bone wow, 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 bone wow." Bone wow. Bone wow, 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 bone. Thanks. Sure, you got all of it. Yeah. That was it. All right. I'm not reading it again. All right. We're just gonna let Zizu fall asleep here. Oh, you're not getting combat. No, I will. I forgot that there were still enemies to fight. So we're gonna do a little funny thing here. If it works. There we go. Oh, She's falling asleep, but we're gonna turn anyway because it doesn't register. All right. So time's coming up. I forgot to say that. And time. We made it. We did it. Um, I might have stopped it early, but I had 1914. So that's actually, so here's here's the funny thing. This is why PC is not really comparable. That is faster real time than my PB. And my my PB is like, I would consider well, it an extremely good run. By real, so, and it's- So it's just loading difference, there's so much difference. There's so much there. loading difference and there's so much uh, different quality in like your computer. So if you have a worse computer, it's just gonna be slower. And if you have a nice computer, it's gonna be hit like better and since all the J runners play on 3ds and Credits. it's much easier to uh, compare whoops it's much easier to compare we play on uh, 3ds plus all the time attack challenges like everything Nana runs is time attack yo grats on hey thanks guys Wow, congrats, you guys. On, well, congrats on world record, record dude. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> this that world is, record obtainer a follow? I mean, that is, uh, I do actually have the world record for this game. Let me humble brag right there. There it is, there it is. Actually, I think, uh, let me check if you have beat uh, Stradox's run, because he runs on PC as well. Uh, I think he's, like, yeah, he's a 1906, 1906. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, never mind that, this was, this was in a marathon, so... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He, he's really cool. Stradox is a cool guy. Yeah. Little big cat overlay. Now, can I can I make a request? I don't know if you can do this easily from the credits screen or not. But uh, can, we, can we get a short poker after party? Yo, hell yeah. Ooh. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Hang on, let me let me feed my ego right here so I can see myself in the credits. There All we right, are, dude. Right We're in there. We Yo. made it. Oh baby. Nice cheats. Tester for Steam. Er, they have both. There's both. Is a lot. Mega Knight. And Middle. speaking of Steam, the second Dark Witch is actually going to be coming out on Steam very soon. Just got greenlit. Yeah, we're uh, we're beta testing it right now. Nice. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys haven't played Dark Witch and you're fans of Mega Man games, you should give it a try. It's a really affordable game. It's, it's like always on bucks. sale too. <laughs> yeah, it's always on sale. It's a couple bucks. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Sixteen oh two. So see, my in-game time, the, my best run is a 
what, a 15.45? Yeah. And this was 16.02, and this was pretty sloppy. But that was actually pretty good for a marathon run, I think. All right. Solid. So let me play some poker. Just very quickly, yeah. Let's do a couple hands or something. All right. <laughs> I'm addicted. I gotta have that flush. Dude, you know? it's crazy. Yeah. All right. Where's... The poker mini game is very addictive. It's you can sit there for 40 minutes and just One get 3,000. All right, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna bet the money real quick here. Oh, that's right. You don't get the stars for what. Yeah, uh, you don't get what, what you uh... got. All right, I might. Okay, this was all crap. Don't oh. forget to put on the best song, Mirror Trap. Oh yeah. Where is it? Mirror Trap. So this was the song that played in the boss rush. Uh, you don't actually get to hear it because the boss, uh, the boss thing start immediately. Ah, oh, jeez, the buttons are completely switched. Yo, two pair. Dude, the buttons are completely different on PC, dude. Uh... <laughs> throwing away your money. What I'm you throwing away my seconds, dude. <laughs> Without going too into detail here, the, the the gist is that the reason this game is addicting is because the odds are completely screwed up, and so you're basically guaranteed to make money over time if you Three have bear. any idea. Oh yeah, it's this is the fastest way to uh, to make money in this game, and the money that you use here is what you use to uh, unlock new game plus bonuses, like uh, more more HP, more speed, start with uh, X amount of tress. And that's mostly for new game plus stuff. Yeah, you can unlock uh, a new costume and some color uh, changes to your character as well. Well, cool. so see, all those hands I just threw away are already all back because I've gotten all these three pairs. Yeah. Did he change the? Yeah, Zizu it allows sprite? you to just like keep doubling too. Yeah. Did he change the Zizu sprite? Look at how depressed she is. What is this? <laughs> no, that's that's, this, what that's she looks the same like. one. All right. Yeah. I think we're gonna let you guys uh, continue the after party. On All your right. Own. <laughs> I wanted to see poker. In oh there yeah, we're. I love the poker mini game. We're gonna race to 2000 Sega. Dude, don't race with Ivan GPX. Don't do it. Dude. <laughs> Dirty cheater. He's, he's the luckiest <laughs> guy of all time. All right, let me just throw these guys on screen because I know BJW's out there somewhere. There you go. There you go. All, all right. right. Once again, everybody, give Boss Crab a follow. Thanks again for the run. Thanks, Crippe, for commentary. Thanks guys for having us. Great cause. Love being here. We'll put all, all these guys on. It's always good to be able to show Dark Witch to people. Uh, so keep watching. I'm sure there's plenty of good runs coming on. Yep. Enjoy the rest oh. of the marathon. All right. See you guys later. Thanks again. We have, we have for the forty six robot master race coming up next. Uh, we gotta, we gotta figure out what's coming up next here on the uh, stream. Here we go. We'll be right back. I'm gonna set up for the four player, forty six robot master race. So enjoy these tunes uh, while we set up. <laughs>